and gentlemen in England now abed shall think themselves a curse they were not here. We get to the coast, turn right, and there appears to be another sunrise. It is Dunkirk, burning, 90 miles away. Coming into the northeast of Dunkirk, we avoid going anywhere near the beaches or the navy. They don't ask which side you're on. The target is Burke, but really it is a gesture because there is nothing we can do. There is no target. From a bomb aimer's position, the sight is awesome. 6,000 feet below Dunkirk is a sea of flame. In black intaglio, gutted streets pattern its surface. Large buildings are gaily decked with bunting, but the bunting is penance of flame. The sea reflects golden light. Somewhere within the mass of fluid amber, the British army is struggling to extricate itself. Turning south, avoiding the coast and skirting a column of smoke, thrust like a deep grey stake in the heart of the town, a flare ignites above a pale grey sea of smoke. From its depths, bright flashes wink, small fires glow, guns fire, transport burns. Seeking targets of opportunity, we try to pick something, making sure we don't drop bombs within the perimeter, but there is nothing to see. Just hope we've made some Axis military unit duck and pause for a few seconds while another boat gets away. We have no idea what's going on down there. All we are doing is stirring the pot. We leave the burning beacon and head home.